This is my Oculus Quest virtual reality headset. This thing is a, a budget price, no extra equipment required in the room, and I absolutely love it. I've been enjoying playing with it. And I want to take this a few steps further. Some years back, I was able to hack a, a Mindflex toy headset to read my brainwaves and output them to an Arduino microcontroller. I piped this data out to a PC and I was able to graph it live on a screen and do a bunch of testing. Overall, it worked wonderful. Little did I know, with just a few dollars in equipment, I'd just performed one of the first drifts with an Arduino. And I had laid the groundwork for some future personal obsessions. Years later, a Hollywood movie made me even more determined to do more with this tech. And it turned out we had a unique skill. We were drift compatible. Coupling confirmed, sir. Engage pilot to pilot protocol. Engaging now. Pilot to pilot connection protocol sequence. So we're gonna get this headset out, take a look at it. I'll show you the ins and the outs, what I see through the headset, some things we can do with it. So I have the sensors and equipment to interface this and other systems with my body, with my brain waves, which I've already done. I have EEG sensors, EMG sensors to use for uh, measuring my heart rate and movement of muscles and stuff. And I think we can interface this with this headset down range with a simple Android apps. This thing runs on Android, very cool. Let's get it out of the box. I'll show you guys some of the things I'm using it for now, some of the applications, games, simulations that I've been playing with, and then downrange. Uh, let's, let's see what we can do with this. This episode made possible in part by PCBWay. Check them out at the link below for all your custom printed circuit board needs. They offer numerous services, different styles of PCBs, even assembly and parts supply. Okay, so the basics of the Quest are, it's wireless. Completely wireless, no external equipment required for it whatsoever. That means you don't need a big gaming PC to run this like you would with a Vive or a Rift. It comes with two handheld controllers, they don't have batteries in them, you have to use your own single AA in each one of them. No problem, grab yourself some rechargeables. And the charge cord is a USB-C right into the side of the headset. The headset uses a pretty powerful Snapdragon processor. The thing is a little bit outdated nowadays, but it performs just fine and they're doing active code development on it all the time. The unit starts around 400 US dollars depending on whether you get the 64 or 128 gigabyte versions. I got the larger. You can natively live stream this right to Facebook. You can also capture video internally on the headset. Now it's limited in aspect ratio, it's a vertical uh, narrow aspect ratio video. Uh, not the best, but pretty easy to stream it out like I do. I just stream it out to a Chromecast and capture it with an Elgato on the PC. You can join your friends online, which is really handy in the current world stage right now where a lot of people are under isolation. You can get together in all different online worlds some of the games I use regularly are VR Chat, Alt Space, and Rec Room. These are all kind of online role-playing games, sort of. They're just, you just show up, you can play paintball, you can play laser tag, you can go on quests. There's all different kind of things you can do. Uh, there's, there's, it's limitless. There's tons of stuff. Some other ones I use, uh, Nature Tracks VR, I absolutely love it for relaxing in. Right now I use it daily to wind down. Um, right now I'm kind of cooped up at home so it lets me sit on a beach or hang out in nature and that, it's, it's quite nice. 
There's all different online shooting games. Uh, I highly recommend shooting some zombies and uh, shooting each other in some of the kind of online war games. Uh, really, really fun. There's just no end of things you can do. The price of the games is a little steep on some of them, but you can sideload games through side quests like Pavlov. No problem. It's quite easy. Lots of online tutorials. Basically, since I got this, I've been using it not as escapism, but more as an augmentation to my life. You can do lots of fitness, like boxing. You get a crazy good workout. Uh, Beat Saber, a wonderful workout in that. And honestly, shooting zombies will get your heart rate up. Uh, it works, works quite well. Downrange, we'll see what other modifications we can do. Like I mentioned at the beginning, we'll add some sensors in, see what we can we can implement by uh, firing up the Android SDK, and I don't know, see what we can do. If you'd like to see more of these videos, make sure you're subscribed and throw a comment down below what you'd like to see. See you next video. What are you doing? Oh, no more rounds for my rifle, I guess. Yeah, we're about to die. He's out of everything.